Drive Project, as we call it, and I wanted to give you an update. And we are here right on 15 Mile Road at the ITC Corridor in Sterling Heights. So this is where all the big transmission grids are, right? The ITC Corridor, all of our power is going through here. But also at the ITC Corridor is sort of the confluence, the nexus of two enormous interceptors. First of all, what we call the MID, the Macomb uh, Interceptor Drainage District, the MID, and that handles the sewage flow for 11 communities in Macomb County. So over half the population of Macomb County, over 500,000 people's sewage flow goes through the MID. And also this is the confluence for something called the OMID, the Oakland Macomb Interceptor Drainage District. So there's also a number of communities from Oakland County that come in here. This pipe then goes down to Detroit for treatment. But as all of you also remember, we had a huge interceptor collapse about a mile down the road uh, in, in four years ago. And uh, we had a sinkhole there. Houses were actually falling into the uh, hole. So this pipe is about 65, 70 feet under the ground. It's very, very deep. And uh, after that sinkhole happened, we did a major inspection of all of the underground. And what we found was <laughs> stuff that would keep you up at night what we call weepers and gushers, uh, where water is weeping in or it's gushing in and sedimentation is coming into the pipe. All those things contribute to not having the integrity that we need in the pipe, as well as having uh, the possibility for another sinkhole, which we're never gonna happen again here. We're never gonna have that again. So that's why we're doing this particular project. This is about a $30 million project where we are lining uh, over 7,000 feet of this pipe with something called hobos, which is an uh, impervious material made out of polymer, essentially, impervious. Uh, and we'll, ha we'll have a life expectancy, I don't know how long. <laughs> I don't want to say forever, but almost. Uh, and then we're going to spray line another 1,300 feet of this pipe. So we're doing what we need to do, preventative maintenance, to make sure we never have another sinkhole that our underground infrastructure lasts, right? We've got enormous investment in this, so we need to make sure it lasts. So today we're gonna to tell you what's happening here at the pipe. This is Steve Downing, who's our construction engineer, and I'm gonna have Steve explain to you what is happening down here in the, in the shaft. Well, thanks, Candace. Where we're at right now on the project is uh, we're starting the demolition of the, the existing in infrastructure interceptor to install a permanent uh, structure that's gonna house pumps. So we've reached the point of the project where we hit the, uh, the bottom of the interceptor, just above the bottom. We cut and remove the top section. And um, what that's gonna allow us to do is put in a temporary flume made of steel pipe and get this shaft, open shaft area in the dry so we can continue excavation and demo of the bottom part of the interceptor. Once we do that, we can start construction of the pump station and gate system that we're going to put in here that will allow us to facilitate the lining work that Candace mentioned, as well as cleaning all the sediment and debris that has accumulated in the interceptor over the past 10 to 15 years. Some of it, in fact, even residual from the sinkhole that we had in 2016 and 17. So we're at a, a pretty interesting time in, in the project. Now that we've reached the bottom, we can see the pipe, we're watching the flow go by, and we're gonna go ahead and get that temporary flume in and, uh, and really get to work on this. So that's where we're at this month. Yeah, we're doing great. We're totally on schedule, right? Yes, we are on schedule. We're a little bit ahead, but yeah. we're coming into the rainy season, so, yeah. so we're, we're just on schedule. Yeah, we're, being on schedule is a good thing in this business. So anyway, we wanted to give you a bit of an update. Uh, you're gonna be able to see from this video some really good footage about what is actually happening here. This is very dangerous work. Okay, you need to always, we always need to keep that in mind. This is very dangerous work. It's necessary work, but it's dangerous. So everything that we do out here as well, we're always thinking about safety. We never, obviously never want to have an incident. And I always point that out because I'm very proud that when we did the sinkhole, which was, you know, a $70 million project, yeah. we never really had any safety incidents there, if you can imagine. 
uh, with that enormous project. So it's very important. We're always thinking about safety as well.